what's going on Huck Squad? Welcome to episode one of my disc golf blog. Uh, I'm not really sure where this is gonna go, how it's gonna be done, you know, any of the specific rules behind it, but I figured that I play enough disc golf and I'm working on becoming a better player, so it'd be cool to kind of document my journey. And What up Huck Squad? I'm sure by the thumbnail you have a little bit of an idea of what my news is about, but I have some huge news regarding the channel. As you can see, I have a brand new Cameo Silhouette 4 and a brand new heat press. Now, I have never done anything like this before. I've never made my own clothing. A couple years ago, all I did was I paid someone to make merch and then I had people PayPal me. I don't really wanna go that route. I wanna go the route of actually being able to like pay taxes on my sales. And I wanna have pretty much full control over the quality control. I'm sure I'm gonna mess up a couple times. I'm sure I'm gonna misprint some things, but having everything in house and just learning from the ground up how to make my own apparel and ship it out. There are so many different options that someone like me can use to get merch or apparel to their audience. There are a bunch of different services that you can sign up for and pick out your logos and pick out your, your apparel and everything will be good. They'll take care of fulfillment, they'll take care of shipping, they'll take care of everything and then you'll just get like a portion of the profit. Although that sounds good and it would be a lot less work for me, I don't really, it just didn't really sit right with me. I would prefer to have my hand kind of in the making of everything. And I think you guys would honestly think it's really cool that I personally printed whatever merch you end up getting. And I don't know, something about that concept just really hit home with me. It's gonna be so much more work and there's honestly a ton of back-end logistics that I'll have to work through to go this route. But I'm pretty much holding all brand leverage myself. I'm gonna have full control over all the quality control, I'll be able to see everything before it goes out. I'll be able to make sure that it's a good quality material and that everything's in check before I send it out. I wanted to do it all myself, trial and error, figure it out from the ground up. And I just, honestly, I never did like a 10,000 sub special. And this isn't really the 10,000 sub special, but this is my formal thank you to you guys. I've been making videos now for like five or six years and it's been such a long time coming. There are some channels, I'm sure everyone sees them. They have one really viral like multi-million view video that ends up kind of popping their channel off. And my channel has just been built slowly for five or six years, just chugging, 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 chugging. I just saw the other day that I think I'm somewhere close to like 330 or 340 total videos. So you could almost sit there for an entire year and just watch one video a day on my channel, which just like blows my mind. I just have to give you guys so many thanks and so much gratitude back because without you guys, I wouldn't be as thrilled to be making these videos. I probably would still be making these videos. I said somewhere back three, four, five years ago that I don't really care how many subscribers I have deep down. I just really enjoy making videos, going out with my friends, having fun, documenting it, and then being able to look back on it at a later date. But the fact that so many of you have resonated with the channel and have really enjoyed the content and reached out to me personally and just so many different things over the years, it just like always, always, always humbles me and just makes me so grateful to have you guys behind me and just everyone that I've met through the process, all the opportunities that have op opened up throughout the process. And you guys, especially the ones that have been here since the beginning, have seen the progression of the channel, the progression of the gear, the progression of the kind of the editing, the progression of putting music into the videos, the progression of my game, the progression of just like everything. And it's just so cool for me, even now, to go back and watch some of those earlier videos and just see like, a slightly skinnier me or a slightly younger me or like a slightly worse version of me playing disc golf or like me and my friends four or five six years ago just like joking around it's just like crazy to see the documentation and how far we've come and we are not even anywhere close to being like satisfied with the growth of the channel i have so many plans and i know i've been a little bit slow this winter but the weather has been crazy. I just haven't been forcing myself to get out there. I'm physically taking a camera and just putting it in my face. And I try my best to be as authentic as I possibly can. And if I'm not in a good mood or just like down in the dumps or it's cold out and I just don't want to go out and film, I'm not going to force myself to put a camera in front of my face and like fake it. So if I'm not feeling it, if I'm not feeling the groove of making videos, then I'm just not going to do it. So. 
Sorry about that little rant. I wanted to keep this a little short and sweet. It is Thursday today, three minute Thursday. Today's my day off from work and earlier today, I met up with a great crew at Borderland and we actually filmed two videos, one for another channel and one for my channel, which is probably going to be coming out in a couple days. It's going to be a horse tilt challenge. So we played horse with only tilts. It was absolutely hilarious and honestly so much fun. Just wanted to show you guys kind of what we have brewing, what, we, what we're working on over here. Once I start making stuff and start putting stuff out there and start making orders, it's gonna be really cool just to like film some of that too, like show you guys the process of start to finish, how to make a custom t-shirt. This could really be a huge, huge thing for us, the Huck Squad, me personally, and just the progression of moving forward with the channel and moving forward with my life. So I just couldn't thank you guys anymore. Thank you so much for 10K subs. I just can't wait to keep on going, keep putting out videos, keep interacting with you guys. I, for years, I did a really good job of answering every single comment, but I'm not gonna lie, over the past couple months, like I said about the whole, I'm not getting out there and playing, I haven't really been answering every single comment either, so I need to catch up on my comment answering, I need to get back into that groove, but there's so much planned for this spring and summer and so many more things to look forward to, so I really do love you guys, I really appreciate it, and uh, thank you for coming along, thank you for hitting the sub button, thank you for subscribing, thank you for leaving comments, I really appreciate you guys, I will see you in the next one, and uh, yeah, keep eating your vegetables. Peace.